was a bit anxious about probably the, hip, the kind of hypnosis side of it. Yeah, but once you kind of really explained your... it through to me. What was going through your head? What, what was the things that, that were putting you off? The thing, you know, that, that would put anyone else off seeing a hypnotherapist as opposed to a counsellor or someone else? I think it's, um, I suppose, almost kind of things that go through your head is, well, is this real? And you see um, a lot of see things on TV and cartoons and films. Yeah, and of course, you see lots of different things. You kind of think it's it's not yeah, it's not about that really. I think it's the biggest thing is just getting yourself into that relaxed space. Um, and once you're in that, again, I think you're probably a bit more open to suggestion, but you're in control the whole time. Do you, do you, um, did you find was, that you remembered most of it or everything? You know the process. Was there anything yeah. that you know? Just bit, yeah, I can kind of set and run through what's actually what's actually gone on during the session. It's kind of you you're present for the whole thing. You're conscious, present for that whole. Do you think that nothing's that happening? Yeah, at first you kind of like, oh yeah, I went through this. It's great. Um, and then it isn't until yeah, a day or two later when you go actually, where have those negative feelings gone? Where it just disappeared um and it kind of clicked and that's when that's happened during that session it's taken a couple of days for my brain to kind of pick up on it how when did how many sessions did you think you experienced before you started feeling some sort of positive change i think probably by the first session it was kind of getting into it yeah i think by kind of session two i was really starting to see a positive impact of it and then kind of more improvement every single session but i think the first session was like, getting into it understanding what it's about was it in tip frightening or, or was there any point in time you felt out you know like i was asking you to do something you didn't want to do at any stage no it was um i think everything's kept quite vague and in my head i know mm. i know what we can't yeah. getting at yeah subconscious so knows what we're getting at yeah but we're not reliving it no, you're not reliving. And and that's you know, a lot of people are worried about reliving experiences. And you're, you know, I keep you in a safe place. In your case, it was by the coast and a beautiful beach rather than than you. And even while we're dealing with it, dealing with those events that are affecting you, you remain completely calm. Is that is that that's what I explain to people that is that how you felt? Yeah, I think there's kind of there's very small moments where I kind of feel myself. It's quite intense. Mm -hmm. um, not reliving, but it's intense. But then you kind of generally feel like if I am going down that, I'll feel like I'm being brought back onto track and what you're saying will bring me back onto the right track. So I'm again back in that calm space again. Right. Um, I, I, um, rather than just kind of let to go. <laughs> one of the big things that I always do is ask permission at every stage. Did you notice that at all? That I was always asking, would you give me permission? It's like you're in full control of it. Um, but you've been guided at the same time. Um, I think that's that's probably the easiest way to describe it. From kind of yeah. So what would you sessions. what would you say to someone um, who's who's really anxious about you know hypnosis and hypnotherapy as opposed to counselling that that would that, that you would have liked to have known before you made that appointment? Is there anything one thing that that you'd give them some some idea advice? I think just kind of approach it with an open mind. Um, it is something different to what i expect expected um yeah. my first time doing it i was kind of had these thoughts in my head well actually is this going to lead anyway where but you know what let's give it a go if we're talking about things that may have caused kind of trauma or things like that i know what we're talking about in my head but i'm not reliving it i'm just kind of it it it's something that's there and we're working past it and one of the things that people don't have difficulty understanding is that their subconscious actually talks back when i'm asking the questions yeah i know that's a difficult area to explain to somebody who hasn't any idea what what compared to counseling and chatting to someone but we we, we are getting your subconscious actually answer back did you did you notice that did you feel that yeah i feel um again kind of when giving answers and things like that it's i'm not even thinking about it it's just i'll notice it so when you're answering for yes and no I find if sometimes I'll kind of do, do it twice or three times. I notice that physically, mm. but I haven't told my body to do that. It's just happened it, sort of automatically. Yeah, I've just gone, oh, okay, did it a few times there. Um, so I kind of felt what was going on. I'm consciously aware of what's going on, but I'm not, it's almost like not having to give my brain any prompt to do that.
because people people are worried about talking about you know their personal experiences and talking and talking there isn't any talking involved when it comes to um, no. going through it you, we get just yeses and nos without any more information pretty much we do everything on yeses and nos yeah that's it there's no kind of deep conversation it's no if you don't want to talk it's, it's a good therapy for you <laughs> yeah yeah it's ideal um so i think people should just yeah go into it with an open mind uh, something i'm really glad i did yeah short period of time it's had a huge impact what's the worst that can happen and it was a good decision thank you very much so no I, no thank you but i do really appreciate um yeah the change there are several ways that you can get in touch with richard bloom we're on youtube facebook linkedin instagram and Twitter. All you have to do is look for Richard Bloom Hypnotherapy. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube at the moment, check in the description box below. You'll find links and more information about us. And remember to visit rbhyp.com.